We've got a pretty crazy game here back on the desert, kind of. Well, it's the reskin, it's the jungle this time, not the desert. Oh, the jungle. So we're mad zoomed in, feeling like we're playing Dawn of War 1 right now. And you see, it's just my instinct. I can't help it. I'm like this, and I, I, I grab the mouse and I just instinctively want to zoom out. Man, it's frustrating. Okay, I might have to ban this map actually from replays because it's actually really pissing me off. Whoops. Okay, we've got a... Yeah, this just feels so weird how zoomed in this is. Oh my god, it's killing my mind. Um... Yeah, we're going to do that in future. Calderas Jungle's banned. Sorry, boys. It's banned. We're not casting any more replays in this map. I can't. I can't take it any longer. Oh, shit. And this is a long one. Okay, so Robocap's going to be playing as the FC, and he's going to be up against Andre Guide, who's going to be playing as the Warlock. No idea who Andre Guide is. Robocap is one of our lovely initiate players. So, yeah, we'll see how this is going to go. Maybe one of them sloppy Saturday kind of situations, but... I always like to see a little bit of FC versus Warlock, kind of a classic matchup. Adding power generator. What's less classic is Robocop not going for a second scout. Honestly, given the new meta of going for triple scouts against Eldar, not going for a double scout seems kind of insane. I wonder what his plan here is. Generator operational. We'll have to find out. He's only got one gen so far. Banshee's managed to sneak right onto it as well because there's been nothing to intercept him. There should have been some scouts seeing the Banshees and doing a little bit of pew pew onto them at least, but what can you do? Equip the initiates with com Are we to accept defeat? Adding power generator. Warlock forcing off the tax there feels pretty good for Robocap, I'm sure. And Scout's going to be ooh, not miss micro because they timely arrive with some shotguns. Beautiful shotgun blast there would have wiped some of the Banshee models for sure. Could have disengaged and ran to the safety of the garrison, I suppose. Wait, yeah, there is a garrison still there on the jungle. That's fine. Now the Guardian is going to get caught by the FC. They need to retreat. They're going to lose models to the ball pistol. Yep. Okay, Andre. Okay, big boy. Should have retreated from that one quite a bit ago. Okay, he's he's landing a destructor on a FC. Okay. Robocap, why do you not have double scouts exactly? What is the logic behind the lack of double scouts? Please explain to me. It goes to the fast initial gen, which facilitates a quicker shotgun. And then he goes for ASM. His opponent, though, in this time is able to get Rangers plus Shurikens and a full gen farm, and then can count the ASM with Merciless Witchblade, Champion's Robe, potentially on his Warlock. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, Banshee's in a pretty bad spot here. Where are the scouts? The scouts are running over here. No sergeant them, so no potential retreat grenade. That'd be like the first thing I'd be thinking if my Banshees were in that position right there. Shuriken totally isolated. ASM easily able to get rid of it. Nice play here by the Warlock. Just going to disengage, of course, with no upgrades and only half HP. He can't do anything in these main fights right now. Just going to decap the natural. That's going to help his requisition situation compared to his foe out quite a bit. Ranger's doing the same on the left hand side there. We're not getting many army versus army fights here. A lot of split up units all around the map. I suppose it's the Eldar way really, isn't it? The skirmishing around the map and not taking army versus army fights until you have a decisive victory. Which, Andre, not really, not really in a great situation to achieve that right now. But I like the hit and run play style. I do. 
it's helping him out economically. Robocap really suffering right now from lacking the additional scout squad. I don't know why he chose to go one scout. It, it doesn't really seem particularly beneficial, especially if you're not getting multiple tier 1.5 units. Really doesn't make any sense. Rain just putting a nice little bit of pork there onto the attacks. Not sure why he disrupted the ASM that were moving around versus the attacks that were static. Not really achieving much with his destructors here, Andre. Now, Robocarp, very defensive. It's kind of odd. He, and he, you know, like he has all these upgrades on these scouts and they're well away from the fight, having to cap the side of the map when really he should have another scout squad for that. I mean, look at this. Andre even has his natural requisition completely capped right now. Robocap scared to engage. I mean, you've got to do something, man. You're quite far behind. He's going to mass retreat everything out of there. What? What are you doing? What does the mass retreat achieve there? This composition is immobile. It's reliant on a shuriken that takes forever to move and wasn't moving towards you. So he mass retreats. Other than the FC, everything else was full HP, and now he's just going to come back out onto the gen farm. Dude, you could have just walked around here. What are you doing? This is weird. I think the FC, given that he's got armor of alacrity, should just sprint down here and just fucking run after the VP and um, decap that or something. Or just start capping up this side of the map. Use the FC as a capping unit with armor of alacrity and keep these scouts with the main composition. They'll probably be more impactful. But both players is going to actually be heading to tier two at a very similar time. ASM going in this time, but this part is nowhere to be seen. Very late with advancing the scouts. And the scouts, rather than shotgun blasting, they're going to go for an aid, and it works because Andre has terrible micro and doesn't even move his guardians. But really, that was a terrible idea because then there was nothing to deal with the, the Banshees. So, of course, the ASM are routed. Andre failed to redirect his... Oh, my God, what's he doing? Deal with the scouts, dude. Oh, dear. So the scouts just run through and punch the Guardian weapon team and the Banshees sort of fanny around, don't really hit anything for a while and then decide they're going to go for the tax rather than dealing with the scouts. So somehow Robocarp wins that engagement. I don't really know how. Robocarp is going to be going for a Razorback next. VPs are pretty damn close. Andre is slightly ahead, 50 VP lead. That's okay. But nothing too big of a deal. Be interesting to see what Andre's going for. Presumably a Wraith Lord. And when you see that Razorback, you slap the Bright Lance on it. You should be in a decent spot. Maybe you want to get some Warp Spiders as well. Maybe some Fire Dragons. Understood. Perhaps because he's only against one Scout Squad, Fire Dragons would be a better choice than the Warp Spiders. Typically the Warp Spiders are good because they're your best counter in Tier 2 as Eldar against the Scouts. Having a super high DPS piercing unit. And then you get supplementary AV as well. Hit the Razorback with the, the Haywire Grenades, slow it down, then it's easy to chase and kill it with a Bright Lance equipped Wraith Lord. Where the uh, What Spider High Piercing DPS can help focus down the Force Commander too. So again, we got more of this skirmishing whilst the ASM are delaying trying to destroy this power node. The Rangers are just poking them, but is there any support for the Rangers? No, there isn't. Banshees and Guardians take out a generator over here, but the Razorbacks in the field going to push them off. Very defensive positioning here from Andre on his Shuriken. Don't really know why. Really, that Shuriken should be covering the Rangers. Very weird to have the Shuriken this far back. Why does he fear that he's been attacked from this angle? And even if he does fear that, this angle here on the Shuriken isn't going to help too much. The enemy will quickly get around this Arc of Fire. No upgrades yet for the Warlock. We're going to see the Power Fist coming out now for the Force Commander now that the Wraith Lord has been spotted. And will we see a Missile Launcher as well? That is the question. Because right now, just a Power Fist is not going to have much of a hope against the Wraith Lord alone. seeing anything. 
be getting a last cannon devastator, I think, if I was Robocarp here. I'm definitely going to need multiple sources of AV. And the Razorback can whiz down the side, down this way, where you know the Wraith Lord isn't, to get some work done. This is very, very strange, moving the Razorback back up. Okay, it's just going to be a missile launch tactical space marine, not too scary really. Melter bomb goes in as well, but yeah. Uh, the Wraith Lord needs to just melee. Stop messing around in range stance and just melee this force commander to death. Still in range stance. Can the Banshees kill the force commander in retreat? Yes, they can. Yeah, but that's not looking good for Robocarp. The Razorback had no business being here. It didn't do anything in that engagement because it was scared of the Wraith Lord. It should have just been down here. It would have forced off the Rangers. Could have sent the scouts with it. Where are the scouts? Oh, they're flanking around the mid. Huh. Not really sure what the point of that was either. They're just going to get forced off. Yeah, they should have been putting the pressure down this side. You know that the enemy only has one form of AV in the Brightlands Wraith Lord. Therefore, wherever the Brightlands Wraith Lord is, if you send the Razorback somewhere else, it's going to be safe and it can put on pressure. Especially given the fact that the Razorback is a transport and so it's way faster than a Wraith Lord. You should also know if you're Robocarp that playing as just trying to kill a Wraith Lord with a missile launcher, a melter bomb, and a force commander with a power fist is not a good idea. It's not enough AV. This is a 40% melee resist walk, and the power fist is not going to be very effective. So you're really relying on a melter bomb and a missile launcher, which is just not good enough. And also, he should be dropping for the Emperor onto this uh, missile launcher squad, so they do more damage. It's getting chip damage in, but really the Wraith Lord can just force melee onto the tax right now and be kind of chilling. And he can probably just 1v1 the Force Commander here with repairs coming in from the Guardians. Ooh, Force Commander might be able to turn around and kill the Warlock here. One punch will kill him. One punch is all it takes, but no, he'd rather be true. Missed the opportunity there, did Robocarp. Plenty of HP. Full HP on this Force Commander. Could have easily just... Punch that warlock and then retreated. Probably didn't even need to retreat. Probably could have just uh, fleet, uh, not fleet, sprinted out with the armor of alacrity. I mean, he did get suppressed by the Howling Banshees. So Andre's going to go tier three. Andre only one source of AV. Again, it's the same problem on both sides. You can't expect to kill a vehicle with only one source of AV. So they're both going to struggle. This is just a default cheap Razorback though, no extra armor on it, so this is pretty cost effective really for Robocarp. But he needs to exploit it, keep sending it down the sides. He's very defensive here is Robocarp, like what are these scouts doing? These scouts should be going for this VP constantly. Infiltrate them and send them down, support them with the Razorback and then rotate your missile attacks and your ASM, your FC around this corner of the map instead. The Rangers are going to go in, they're going to try and get the decap under infiltration. We've got another potential AVA fight here. That's an army versus army fight, not just a little skirmish, but all of the key units on each side are going to engage in a rather large battle. It looks like it. Banshee's a little bit vulnerable here on the side here, can get poked by the Razorback, amongst other ranged weapons that the SM have. So you're going to rotate them back to the mid and reposition his shuriken. Might want to drop down. A webway gate for the warlock because that has a wee healing that it can give off with its ability every now and then. Seems that Andre is quite low on red actually. I'm not sure what he's been spending it on. Probably fleetness must be because I don't really feel like I've seen many distort fields. Blindly. All right, so the FC is going to go in. So the banshees, banshees want to go straight for the tactical space marines. They were a little bit early with their screams, seem to miss everything. Grenade goes into the scouts, failed to dodge it. Banshees and the Warlock ripping up the tactical space marines. What did the ASM achieve? The ASM wiped the shuriken. The Wraith Lord, however, is now tier three, but he activated his Wraith Bone way too early. 
Oh man, if only they had aspects of strength instead of fleetness, that would have been a dead Razorback. Because she would have had her Executioner Spear that's Heavy Melee, the Exarch, rather than the dual Power Melee Mirror Swords. I also think the Razorback would have died if he didn't activate Wraithbone so soon and just got another Bright Lance shot off, but what can you do? Both players tier 3. Okay, we've got a Seer Council coming out of Andre. Well, that's certainly going to give him melee superiority, but that does leave him quite vulnerable to a Predator. Particularly a twin-linked Las Cannon Predator, which will be able to take out the Rear Flawed fairly easily. And then after that, there's no AV. Seer Council don't have AV. So that could be tricky, because even if he got a Prism afterwards, Andre, the problem is that the Prism is more of a tank destroyer, so we'll still lose a 1v1 fight against a mainline battle tank that rushes it. Certainly a twin-linked Las Cannon Predator. So you need multiple sources of AV, so you'd need a Prism afterwards and a Bright Lance as well in order to counter a Las Cannon Predator. I suppose if he can keep the Wraith Lord alive while he waits to get the Prism, somehow, then, then he'd be alright, because the Wraith Lord can protect the Prism. You can't charge a Prism with your Predator if there's a Bright Lance Wraith Lord there ready to charge you and melee you. Um, you might kill the Prism, but you're going to lose your Predator as well. Technically, a Twin Link last kind of Predator does actually cost more than a Prism as well. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know if Robocap's even going for that. He could have got a Predator quite a while ago, but he doesn't appear to be purchasing one, so maybe he's not going for that. Maybe he's going for... Is he going for a Land Raider Redeemer? That'd be interesting. I mean, it would certainly counter the Seer Council quite well. And the Wraith Lord too, really. It's just too tanky. It's got the Multi-Melter at short range, which will be effective against the Wraith Lord. But the problem there is that the Land Raider Redeemer gets pretty hard countered by a Fire Prism, which outranges it by tremendous... Oh, well, we got Assault Terminators instead? Oh, that's a risky choice, man. Oh, I don't know about that. Mm. Wayfall's looking like it's in a bad position right now. We've got the Power Fist Force Commander, we've got the Thunder Hammer Storm Shield Terminators, which do heavy melee, and we've got Missile Tacks in the Retreat Path with a Razorback to move them around, and that is going to be a killed Wraithlord. Lands the Flesh Over Seal, it's dead. Oh, dear. Oh dear, this is not good for Andre now. Well, he is ahead in VPs, that's the main thing he's got going. He's quite far ahead in VPs, but... Missile Taxi are going to be pretty good against all these power gens, going to destroy them quite rapidly. The long, long Rifles will do okay chip against the Terminators, but Terminators have got such good regen. Oh, here with Battlecry, the Banshees are going to get absolutely smashed. This is a terrible idea. Shouldn't be sending them in alone, you need to just really gangbang them, outnumber them, get your Warlock, your Seers and your Banshees all on them at the same time. Now they're gonna go for Lightning Claws as well, oh dear. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the Lightning Claws are even that useful here. They will obviously rip through Banshees and Seer Council a lot faster with these Lightning Claws, but it does reduce their max HP and it also lowers their HP regen, I believe. Though it doesn't look like it. They're regening at crazy rates anyway. I feel like maybe you get one extra HP regen with the Thunder Hammers, which probably yeah, is not even that worth it. Hmm. But you're losing out on the heavy melee as well in case something like a Prism does come out. Razorback's been MVP, the fact it's still alive is actually super problematic for Andre. He's got no AV right now, so wherever that Razorback goes, there's not really a count to it. So sh the, uh, the scouts and the Razorback should be going around together pretty much everywhere. Warp Spiders in tier 3 against Terminators? What? Now we've got some Vanguard Veterans. I'm not sure what level the ASM were, I probably wouldn't have gone for Vanguard Veterans. Because losing the Melter Bomb is a pretty big deal again if you're fighting any fire prisms. Melabomb makes it very easy to kill fire prisms with armor of alacrity, 
teleporting power fist FC, even with missile launch attacks. But Vanguard, whilst they do have better stats, certainly their damage is much superior to Assault Space Marines. I mean, look at the bloody kit they're all coming with. Lightning Claw, Thunder Hammer, and a couple of power swords. So they are all power melee, by the way. But even the base damage values are way higher. But yeah, you lose that on that Melter Bomb, which is kind of a big deal. Potentially lower HP as well. It depends on the, the HP of the ASM. I think you'd have to be level 3 ASM or level 4 to have more HP than Vanguards, and you still have less melee damage. So as far as combat's concerned, it is pretty much a, a pretty damn big upgrade. Certainly level 2 Vanguard, level 3, level 4 are way better than level 4 ASM. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose out on the melt bomb personally. I don't know what the plan is here for Andre. It's kind of tricky no matter what he goes for. You want a prism to try and finally kill this Razorback, but... The effective damage of the prism against Terminators is very negligible. So he's got Providence here with the Kernus, so you can spam his uh, Witchblade Kernus ability, but... I mean, no one cares. It's Space Marines. They're just ignoring it. It's going to gangbang the tactical Space Marines, but they're using them. They shall know no fear. And just look at the DPS coming out of the Elder here. They're getting absolutely melted. I mean, the Force Commander propped so many special attacks there with Battlecry. So he's boosting the damage of all these nearby dudes. Seer Council just get ripped apart. Everything gets ripped apart. So you get the Fire Prism and it might kill the Razorback, but really the Razorback wasn't even contributing that much to that fight and you're not going to be able to kill the Terminators. So I'm not really sure what Andre can do right now, his composition is just awful. Losing the Wraith Lord and not killing the Razorback has kind of facilitated this. If he had the Razorback right there, sorry, if he had the Wraith Lord right now he'd be in a pretty nice position actually. Because he'd be able to counter the, the Lightning Claw Terminators pretty effectively with that Razor. With the Wraith Lord. We did end up getting the reinforced armor playing eventually on the Razor. Needs to pursue it with the Prism, but he's not pursuing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Crazy range of the Prism gets it with a rear armor hit. Nice. Alright, well, that's a dub. And, you know, there's not a proper counter to the Prism now. I mean, there's not a proper counter to the Lightning Claw Terminators either, but that's fine. There you go, nice sick kill. Teleport into retreat path. Bonk. Dead Ranger. It's actually quite a big deal because the Ranger would have been nice to spot for the Fire Prism. The Force Commander could be pretty scary for the Fire Prism here. Because he's got the Armor of Alacrity and the Teleporter Pack. Ooh, and now the Missile Launchers. He's walking into the Missile Launchers and then he missed Micros. It looks like the FC there was trying to use Flesh Over Steel. Very difficult to use Flesh Over Steel against a moving target unless you're already behind, sort of in the path that they're trying to move by. Therefore, if you teleport behind the prism, and then the prism wants to move past you, then it's easy to get Flesh Over the Steel off. But not if you're just chasing after them like that. Alright, we've seen some Webway Gates now from Andre. Okay, cool. He's staying in this. He's got his Seer Council coming out of there. I'm pretty sure Seer Council will beat the Vanguards one by one. Maybe. Maybe not, actually, if they land the jump plus the Merciless Strike. Assume it's level 1 Seer Council, nearly level 2. We're going to see the fight. We're not going to see it because I guess he sees the Lightning Claw Terminators coming up anyway. And when they get involved, it's going to go very badly for the Seers. Yeah, now it's going to be a Predator by Robocap. And that is sh that can 1v1 the Prism. There is no other AV, so we can just literally rush down the prism. The enemy Problematic. And I'd say you'd get a Bright Lance to protect your prism from being rushed down by the Predator, but then how long is a Bright Lance going to survive in Tier 3 against Lightning Claw Terminators and Vanguard and a Teleporting Power Fist Force Commander? Honestly, your, your Bright Lance probably isn't going to live very long, so... Once again, Andre's in a pretty difficult spot. Like I say, if he had the Wraith Lord, it'd be a lot better. That could zone out the Predator to protect the Prism from just being run down by it. It could also help counter the Lightning Claw Terminators. So that honestly should probably be the next purchase he makes. 
a Wraith Lord. It's just such a shame, you know, you already have them. So here we go, the Predator's out. It's not rushing down the Prism. Probably a mistake. The prism's walking way too forward though. Why is it driving forward? Oh, and he gets hit by the Flesh of Steel. Yikes. Yep, dead. I mean, that wasn't even close. The Prism didn't even get a shot off on the Predator. Just too many AV assets here for the Space Marines. The Andre can't micro it. Can't micro his, his uh, units to deal with them. What's he got over here? He's got his Guardians come out of the Webway Gate, which has since been destroyed. They're onto the, the VP. Nice to see Robocop actually running around with scouts, side capping. Seems like he built a later scout squad. I didn't even notice. Just to do some capping. Nice, but uh, why not do them tier 1? <laughs> That would surely make a lot more sense. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what Sith Council are intending to do here, dicing up a Predator whilst getting shot by lots of people. I mean, this is just terrible all around. Okay, an all type with a fusion gun. Yikes. Yeah, this game's over. How long does he drag this on for? Bro, you don't even have aspects of strength. Look how much damage the Banshees are doing, though. Holy shit, if he had aspects of strength, he might even have killed this Predator. He might. Look how low he got it. Yeah, he totally would. Damn, dude. Forget this aspect of fleetness. He did kill the Razorback ages ago as well if he got the aspect of strength. The problem is that every fight that Andre is taking right now, he's not getting any wipes and he's bleeding like crazy and it's stopping him from being able to purchase any more units. In contrast, Robocarp is going to be able to get friggin' Terminators again soon. Get some ranged Terminators this time. Honestly, he could save up for a Land Raider Redeemer. Probably just get some ranged terminators myself. Because they're literally never going to have to retreat. Just keep landing claw terminators nearby to them. It'll be pretty disgusting. We shall make it so. Yep. Oh, Andre, I feel bad for you, mate. You've been fighting a losing battle for like 15 goddamn minutes, it feels like. I don't know what the autot with a fusion gun was all about. I'm always optimistic about the autot with a fusion gun. She just never, never really achieves anything. And he just throws all the melee at the Predator. There's no chance. The Seers would be able to wipe those scouts in about two seconds. Okay, just force melee with the Autark. Use swift movement here to get more movement range. Hey! The fusion gun Autark actually killed a Predator! Wow. I can imagine that. But, uh, what did he do? He didn't lose anything, right? No, he didn't lose anything. I don't think. But Assault Cannon Terminator is now on the field. I mean... Dude, if Andre wins this... Oh, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like, what the hell? Robocop. Will you please hammer the stake into him already? Holy crap. I 
feels like this is major overkill right now. Never spotted the gate. Hilarious. Then he moves everything over just to deal with some guardians, so he's gonna lose the mid again. This is quite funny. Okay, now he's seen the gate. But them terminators need to get mid. Is he gonna lose the force commander now too? From the chain, not back from the seers. Oh my god. He retreats instead of teleporting. Oh my god. Robocop, what are you doing? You be trolling, my guy. Come on. He's making a, a pig's ear of this. That's what he's doing. He's making a real pig's ear of it. That was a nice vanguard jump. Which played of Kernos could be pretty scary here for the vanguards. Warlock's getting... He's not doing it though. Why is he not spamming his ability? Oh my god. Oh, did he use the uh, Kernos before he used the invulnerability from Providence? Maybe. Then you get stuck with your cooldowns on. Rather than off. You only get the cooldown reduction from Providence if you have Providence active prior to the cooldown taking place. It won't reduce already um, on the cooldown abilities to 10% of their cooldown. It will only cause future abilities that proper cooldown to only have 10% of the duration of normal. So you need to make sure you activate Providence first and then use your Ethereal Slash, not the other way around, which I think is what he did there. But Andres comes straight back out again with his Guardians and he's building another Web Boy Gate, this time in a different position. I mean, holy shit, he is ratting hard. He's actually gone for the Wraith Lord, which is a pretty good idea, actually. That's what he needs right now. These Terminators won't do very well against the Wraith Lord. They've got heavy melee power fists, but they don't have any melee resist. And then the power melee here won't do crazy amounts either. Really delaying. He's got the grenade. He actually misses, unfortunately. And that could have been quite good since Robocarp just ate that shit. Warlock getting a face full of assault cannon. Not too pleasant for him. Let's see how the Wraith Lord can do, though. Probably pretty good. Just stay in mid for now. He knows the force commander's lurking. Doesn't want him to sneak in and get the decap. But it is a 2-1 to one against Andre. So he's got to make some sort of play. What's the play going to be? He's waiting for his seer council. Fair enough. Warlock's going to come out the gate on the side. Go for the decap again. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is classic Elder. Love to see it. Uh, this could be a good engagement, actually, with the Banshees, the Seers, and the Wraith Lord. Damn. Banshees should not be engaging the FC. They should go after the Vanguard right now. Vortex should be jumping in to buff the damage and heal everyone. An orbital Bombardment. Where is it going? Perfectly in retreat path. That's a nice Orbital Bombardment right there. Does it wipe them? No, it doesn't wipe them. Bleed as usual. A nice knockback. Yeets the FC who is about to use his flesh over steel. I'm really not sure about engaging the Terminators though. These guys have got their heavy melee power fists and this FC is trying to flesh over steel you so that you can't move. Wow, he's doing a lot of damage this FC. He's level 7. No for the Emperor on the FC, which is weird. Also, the Terminator is not going into melee. Robocap lost on the VPs! <laughs> wow! He lost on the VPs! The Warlock obviously fully caught this place and then moved over to the mid and caught that. The Guardians were the VP. Kudos to fucking Andre, man. How the hell did he win that game? I don't know. Robocap. Robocap seriously fucked that up in multiple different ways but a beautiful bait there with a ray flood in the engagement i wasn't even paying attention i was just watching the engagement talking about flesh over steel and why isn't the terminator moving into melee but there you go you got your answer 
because it didn't matter whether the Terminator moved into melee and killed the Ray Flood or not. Robocop loses on the VPs. Don't you love seeing the Space Marines losing? Thank you for tuning in, folks. It's going to be all from you, Boy Topic, this time. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a comment down below. And if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon, where you can get access to exclusive casts. Top it out. <laughs>